Okay, we're in a good mood tonight. Everyone's a little buzzed, right? Enjoying the Chinatown atmosphere, right? Just a, there's some Chinese people in here, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, good. Right? Good to know some of you are here. All right, so um, um, we got a, we got just a couple more acts before we get to our main event tonight. So we're gonna bring them up and waste no time. So our next guest is uh, a lovely and talented uh, comedian from. From Astoria. Astoria. From Astoria, Queens. Oh, I'm yeah. 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 But only if it takes place in a cold storage unit. That's the only way I'm going to have a good time tonight. This should be like the next season on uh, next comic standing, or what, in the last comic standing. Like, you're going to do your set, but it's going to be in sub zero extreme temperatures. You're going to do your set, but only if you're being mauled by a raccoon. Can you do it? How many laughs can you get? Oh, being mauled by a raccoon. You're from Astoria? You two are where whereabouts? Here's at Mar. Okay. Here's okay. A kind of open oh, I'm by the beer garden. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Don't That's come over. Don't try to find me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll exchange numbers later. Right. So uh, I'm. Watch out. <laughs> I'll tell you something about myself. I'm uh, I'm extremely obsessive compulsive, and I wish I got a pretty healthy dose of the OCD. It's my story. And I wish though that I could convince my brain to manifest the OCD in some sort of productive way, so that I was like, oh my God, I just can't stop knitting sweaters for the homeless. <laughs> Everyone in my fourth grade class will be killed in a violent pottery accident, you know, but instead I'm just like spending a lot of time opening and closing the refrigerator door in multiples of three <laughs> until I don't have AIDS. <laughs> but um, my worst, my worst one right now, it's gotten really bad the past couple of months, I cannot leave my house without being convinced that there's something on that should not be on in my apartment, and now my apartment is ablaze. All right, that's actually all I've been thinking about since I started this set. And uh, it got so bad recently, I'll now I'll be at work, exactly, I'm afraid that my apartment is on fire. And so now it's to the point where it's so bad, I'll be at work and I'll be convinced that I left something on in my apartment that I don't even own. <laughs> no, it's, it's intense, so I'll be, I'll be like writing emails and all I can think about is, oh my god, did I shut off the cotton gins? <laughs> 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 it's just a historical piece of equipment. It's just a historical piece of equipment. Should we not? Should we not exchange numbers later right now? Is that a deal breaker? <laughs> I was gonna Facebook you and everything. We were gonna go to the Con Edison plant with them. I guess it would make more sense to go to the beer garden. That would be a more fun place than the Con Edison plant. Um, so the, I feel like, how can you even be wearing short sleeves? I feel like I should give you a Snuggie. I feel like I should just bundle everyone in this room in a Snuggie. Who's actually, okay, who's like way too into the made for TV or as seen on TV infomercials and that sort of thing, right? No, don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. You're, I think I've, there, are, there are probably two things you can be certain of with, with the infomercials. Number one, that... Chances are when you receive the product, it's not going to change your life the way you hoped. And number two is that my mom certainly owns it. She for sure, it's owned by Debbie White if you saw it on TV. My mom's relationship with infomercials, I've come to realize, is like, she describes it as a love affair. And I would say it's unhealthy at best. She, I try to make her understand, like, mom, all infomercials do is convince you 
that you're fat and you're disorganized and you're inefficient at chopping vegetables. And she's like, <laughs> and for just only tell me I'm inefficient at chopping vegetables because they love me. And I'm like, no, mom, you don't, you don't understand. When's the last time infomercials came around other than in the middle of the night, right? And then <laughs> infomercials are always making you pay. When is the last time infomercials called you, mom? <laughs> Infomercials will never be my dad. That's the point I'm trying to make. <laughs> Just let it go. Let it go. Get out while you can. Um, my mom also is obsessed with the show Say Yes to the Dress. Have you, do you guys know this TLC show? Okay. You don't, you've never heard of it? All right. Well, let, let me fill you in. Uh, so it's 30 minutes just all about... A, a bride shopping for the perfect wedding dress, okay? And it's, of course, filled with drama, like she likes the dress her mom doesn't like. 30 minutes of this. And so I want to pitch the spin-off. It's going to be the guy shopping for his tux, and it's just one shot of him walking in and out of the tux. <laughs> and then, and then just 29 minutes of credits. <laughs> Guys, I will see you all at the Con Edison plant immediately following the show. Give it up for your host, Bing! Chelsea White! Chelsea White! Awesome, awesome. Hey, yes, it is chilly in here.